Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, sell side has been more dominant, and uh, we saw overnight that uh, the market built up a small balance, broke down below it, and then pulled back to test the support at the 45 to 48 area. At this point, heading into the open, we're going to be using 45 half to 48 half as initial support, as well as the micro bull bear zone to help us establish our directional bias. If the market is holding above this zone, then buyers still have a shot at uh, regaining short-term control. But if we see a failure at 45 half to 48 half, then that can shift at least the smaller time frame control to the sell side, and it would signal a failed breakout from yesterday. In which case, we can go back down and test 39 to 41, and uh, even the recent lows at 34 quarter to 36 quarter. And then depending on the level of momentum and broad market weakness we're seeing in the market, there would even be a shot at heading lower and breaking the 34 quarter, 36 quarter. So how the market reacts at 45 half to 48 half is really going to be important for the day's bias. On the upside, we have resistance at 56 to 58. That is the first um, important inflection point on the upside. We have some minor resistance along the way, but uh, the first really important one is 56 to 58, followed by 60 quarter to 62, which marks the overnight high as well as the gap. Now, if we can actually gain enough strength to break out above 56, 58, and 60 quarter, 62, in that case, we can go up and test 66 to 68, the 69.75 HVN. And, uh, you know, given the lack of any major economic reports, uh, given that we've already seen a pretty nice up move yesterday, the resistance zones above, especially towards the edge of the balance at 66 to 68 and 70 half to 72 half, those areas have potential to cap the upside. You know, given how weak the overnight session has been, you know, our bias is very neutral going into the open. So even if initial support holds, uh, we don't necessarily have to um, just trend up from there. Uh, you know, we can still kind of go up and balance and uh, perhaps pause at the resistance zones on the way up. Um, how the market reacts to 56, 58 is really going to be important on the upside. Uh, if we can take those first two zones out, that would confirm that, uh, you know, we are in quite a strong market, and from there, we can go higher and uh, perhaps even, like I said, go all the way up to the recent highs. But uh, the 66-68 zone would be very likely at that point, and that's where, you know, the market gets a bit overextended, and, uh, you know, we can start to struggle a bit to head higher. So those are really the main ideas heading into the open. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on the 45 half to 48 half. That's going to help set the tone for the day. Understand that if that zone doesn't hold, then there is potential for the sell side to really take over. And we are going to have to be careful um, fading the 39 to 41 uh, at this point. Um, you know, if there's a lot of downside momentum and AD is trending lower and the other markets are really breaking down, um, then, you know, we could have trapped buyers in the market. From yesterday, uh, which could uh, lead to some short-term liquidation. So 39 to 41, we're going to be careful. It's a decision that will need to be made in real time, depending on just how weak the environment is in real time. Um, so it's not just an automatic fade anymore. You know, we're going to have to assess the market as it goes down there. Uh, 34 quarter, 36 quarter is a better spot. And uh, if we're really exhausted into it, it has higher odds of a reaction. But even that zone requires a real-time assessment of market conditions to uh, determine whether it's worthwhile to initiate along there anymore. Um, you know, because at this point, if we head down there, you know, it's going to be a riskier uh, zone, and it's not just going to be an automatic fade. It's going to depend on how it approaches it. You know, what the market's done ahead of it. So this 45 half to 48 half is really a uh, critical area, at least in the short term. And if we can hold it, then we know that the buyers can still maintain control. You know, that's kind of the final spot for uh, the short term buyers, if they're going to maintain control. So if we're holding it, we'll still give edge to the buy side. Um, if we fail, then we're going to give more edge to the sell side. And uh, that would open the door for possibly even breaking 
a 34 quarter or 36 quarter. You know, it doesn't mean it has to today because we don't, again, have any major econ reports. Um, you know, so it doesn't have to necessarily break it, but it would certainly be a uh, potential scenario that could take place. So we'll just have to be aware of that. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if the buy side can really maintain this zone here, and we'll take it from there.